PCL have made a 52-week high today and now in the month of January, it's up 20%. Now, this recent surge in HPCL has made ONGC's investment profitable after nearly half a decade. Uh, to talk more about it, we are now joined by uh, Hormus. Hormus? You know, it's taken six years for this to happen, but ONGC's investment in HPCL has finally turned profitable, courtesy the surge that we have seen in HPCL's shares over the last three months. Now, in it, what goes, ha what happens is that uh, HPCL, the ONGC had acquired that 51% stake that the government had held in HPCL in uh, January of 2018 for a sum of 36,912 crores. And the acquisition that they have ma they had made back then was at a price of 473.97 per share. Uh, and that day, on the 31st of January 2018, HPCL's closing price was 397 rupees. So the acquisition was done at a 20% premium to HPCL's closing price on that day. Now, HPCL, after underperforming for most of 2023, saw a massive surge after its September quarter results, where the stock went up by almost... 40% in November, 15% uh, in December and now courtesy the surge, this continuing surge, now it's up another 20% in January as well. Now, HPCL made a high of around 485 today, which means that it has eventually now crossed ONGC's buying price, which was around 474 and the stake now that ONGC holds is currently valued at around 37,700 crore rupees. Now, other than ONGC, who owns stake in HPCL is on 14.5% stake belongs to the India's mutual funds and LIC owns around 4.5% stake in the company. Well, it has taken six years, but ONGC is finally in the money when it comes to its HPCL investment. Back to you. Okay, all right. Uh, thank you very much, Ormas, for that. Uh, pretty interesting. Sonal is also here to take us through a comprehensive look at HPCL's financial performance over the years. Sonal? Thank you for that. Well, for all marketing companies, of course, you have to understand that the crude prices, the way they move, uh, what has been the excise duty on fuels, what have the refining margins been. And also, in last six years, we have seen times like COVID when, where we did see record low crude and refining margins as well. So just taking a look at the margins and the profitability over the last couple of years for HPCL. And let's start with margins. It hit a high of 7% in FY21 after uh, margins between 2 to 5% uh, between FY18 to FY20. FY22, it fell to levels of around 3%. That was led by lower refining margins. And in FY23, it made negative margins. So the EBITDA was a loss this time around. And that was again led by the refining performance that the company saw. Uh, there were lower margins in this particular segment. In terms of profits, they did see record high profits again in FY21 at 10,663 crore rupees on a yearly basis. This was after they did uh, profits of around 2,613 crore rupees in FY20. Uh, 20. And in FY23, again, all the oil marketing companies made a loss and HPCL was one of them that was around 6,980 crore rupees but what has helped HPCL in last couple of quarters is they've added capacities across all the across all their segments be it the refining capacity which has increased from 15.8 million metric tons to 20.5 million metric tons their pipeline network has increased from 3,300 kilometers to around 5,100 kilometers their retail outlets have grown, grown from 15,062 uh, to around 21,000 in terms of numbers their CNG stations have almost increased increased six times or seven times in the last six years. So they have been expanding continuously over the last couple of years. They made investments of 74,000 crore rupees on building their infrastructure. And uh, additionally, uh, they are doing a lot more in terms of uh, addition and refining capacity and new energy space as well to improve the infrastructure and improve their refining yields as well. Now, they also did an open market buyback, the only PSU to do an open market buyback on 4th of November 2020 with a 45% premium to that times uh, market price. Uh, so this was a one-off event. And in OMCs, HPCL has the highest exposure to marketing segment. So any, any changes there is something that would impact the company. The next is the uh, outlook that they have going forward in terms of their refining capacity, their retail outlets, their pet chem capacity and biofuel capacity. So they do have a lot of plans of increasing capacity till 2027, 2028 as well. Uh, so there's a lot which is expected and that's what the street is, is bullish on as well. Okay, all right, got that, uh, Sonal. Thank you very much for uh, you know putting things in perspective with respect to just the financial performance uh, for HPCL over the years. Thank you for watching CNBC TV 18, and do follow us on all our social media platforms for news, updates, and more.